for Aniston, Kate Winter and Gwyneth Paltrow all fake that flawless finish and now you can too. If you fancy some insider top tips and expert tricks of the trade, well it's over to our beauty belle Sarah Jagger for a masterclass in red carpet glitz and glamour. Makeup is an amazing tool. Quite frankly, it's every woman's best friend. When it's done right, makeup shouldn't just reflect your natural beauty, it should enhance it. It's all about understanding what works for you and your skin, and we're here to show you how. When it comes to beauty and style on a night out, who doesn't want to look like an A-list or looking red carpet? For me, Airless Glamour isn't just about great makeup, it's about creating makeup that lasts and looks flawless all night long. Well, the first step is about creating a radiant complexion that you see on Gwyneth Paltrow. It's all about layering radiance enhancing products. Start with an illuminating primer, put it all over the skin using a pea sized amount and massage it in like a moisturiser. I use L'Oreal's new Lumi Magique, but another good one is Estée Lauder Illuminating Primer. Follow with another radiance enhancing product, a foundation that contains light reflective particles like Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Apply a pea sized amount all over the face, making sure that you blend well into the jawline. A good budget alternative is L'Oreal Lumi Magique. Conceal any areas of redness, like on the cheeks or around the nose or on the chin. I'm using Estee Lauder Double Wear. Again, a good budget alternative is Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. Next, apply powder to set your makeup, but apply it sparingly. My top tip would be to tap it off into a tissue so you don't apply too much. I'm using My Face My Match, but if you want to splash out, you could try Giorgio Armani's powder. Now apply a subtle powder blush, just use it on the apples of the cheeks and blend up towards the ear. This look is about strong eyes and strong lips, so you want the cheeks to be really subtle. A peachy tone of blush works really well. Do what all the celebs do and use a shimmer highlighter to bring out the cheekbones. I love Bobbi Brown's shimmer break. You just sweep it over the whole cheekbone and it gives an amazing radiant glow. Now for an insider secret, set your makeup with a fine water mist, but just spray it on and then leave it. You'll just notice how it just absorbs any excess powder. It's a trick I use on all my celebrity clients to make their makeup last longer. Subtle smoky eyes are always a celeb favourite and they're really on trend right now. This year, all the celebrities have been using bronze shades to bring out their eye colour. It's really flattering on all skin tones, just sweeping it over the eyelid and then taking a smaller brush and using a little bit underneath the eye too. Just use a touch of powder eyeshadow underneath the brow bone. It really has a lifting effect. So before the eyeshadow dries, use a black eye pencil and just smudge it into the lash line. This will create an instant smoky effect. Curl your lashes and add a volumizing mascara. I've gone for a really dramatic black mascara, Dior Show New Look. A really good budget alternative is Max Factor False Lash Effect. I always like to apply two coats, but apply the second before the first is dry and that way you won't get any clumps. Frame the eyes with a really strong, polished looking brow. Make sure that you emphasize the arch. I like to fill in any gaps using a brow powder, and then you can go over afterwards with a brush comb just to flatten any straight hairs. To complete our A-list look, it's got to be red lips. Red lipstick that lasts all night long without smearing or rubbing off has to be applied in layers. So to start, use a lip primer, which fills in all the fine lines on the lips and helps your lipstick to last longer. L'Oreal Double Action Lip Primer is great because one side fills in the little lines and the other side helps to plump the lips. Next, conceal the lip line. This really helps the lipstick to, again, last longer, but it also helps to get rid of your natural lip line so you can create a much more perfect one. Create a sharp M at the cupid's bow first and then work your way up using short little strokes. I really like to use a chunky lip pencil. Just simply draw in the lips and then colour them in afterwards. So now for the fun part, red lips. Some people are afraid of red lips because it's quite a dramatic statement. I'd offer a pinky red if you have a fair skin, orangey red if you have a medium skin, and a really nice dark berry red if you have a deeper complexion. I like to use my fingertip because it really pushes the lipstick into the lips so it lasts even longer. Don't forget to blot over with a tissue and you are red carpet ready. <laughs> 